Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Prey. This fake-ass world. Yeah, the fake-ass world here that is just confusing Jinx. So we missed a pistol that was over here in Jada. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick that up here. Uh, and we don't know where her safe is. It's it's clearly not in here. I'm not seeing it anywhere anyways. Uh, it must be in her quarters, uh, her cabin. Uh, the, uh, that room key that we got, the briefing room key, that is right there, guys. Uh, and there's already a background way to that room, so, yeah, it's not incredibly helpful for us. But he's in there. Well, we oh, can she. Have we scanned him yet? Oh, we haven't. Okay. Alright, we can just scan him through these windows, I guess. Until he comes after your ass. It's fine. He's he can't done. even get, he can't even get through here, James. He can shoot you. <laughs> All right, excellent. So it looks like we unlocked some more uh, abilities that we'll never get. Uh, the electric static absorption. So it absorbs 50% of all electric, electrical damage as Xi points. Oh, well, that'd be helpful as well. Hell yeah, it would be. Um, hmm. See, I don't know what this, a, a Xi nullifying pulse. And this is, this will just attract him. Um, I wonder if this will like allow Tyson us to get clone. behind him. Maybe. I doubt it. I probably could. Just maybe. I mean, they are kind of dense. Yeah, they're pretty stupid. You can move the tarp, by the way. Oh, can I pick that up? Yeah, I can. You're right. I mean, there's still a window there, but... Come here. Yeah, it should make it a little bit easier to manage it. Looks like you don't need the key. You can just go through the window. Just hop on in. Well, I'm trying to... I want to distract him. I don't want to just fight him straight up. What's... You know what we're going to do? I'm going to put it over here. And then let okay. that distract him. We'll see and then we'll go around. Works. Yeah, we'll see if it even worked. Uh, then we'll come up around the side here and smack him in the butt. <laughs> it didn't work. I know I'm very immature. Butts are funny. <laughs> All right. Well, it's still going off over there. He is just. He just is does he not care. By it? No, he doesn't care. Are you not into? I think he doesn't see it yet. Oh, is there he goes. Oh, ooh, ooh. Now he likes it. He likes it. You know what? We should probably not get up close to him. He's going to electrocute us if we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you uh, like that, bitch? All right. We're going to go this way, guys. We're going to jump through the window. He all heroic style. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And then we're going to slide. Is that your hero music? Um, kind of, I guess. And then we're going to come up behind him and smack him in the butt. Like I said. But with a bullet. Again. Yeah, we're going to do it with a bullet, though. I'm not going to do it with the, uh... I don't think it'd be wise to, to do it with the, uh... You know, the, the wrench, is what I'm trying to say here. He's still looking for us. He has no is idea. Is that really you? Look at this dummy. He's like, Morgan, why would you smack me in the butt like uh -oh, that? Uh-oh. Gotta go. Gotta go. thought we were friends. All right, we will come in here and hide. Get ready. You see nothing. Aim. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Aw, oh, you sneaky little bastard, you. All right, do we have any bullets left? No. You got nothing. Damn it. All right, what we're going to have to do is shock him. Oh, that's not going to work Something at all. Something over there. He's a shocking guy. Oh, I just drank course, that alcohol. Yeah. All right, he's in here, Jinx. It's he's like in I here didn't with us. Find anything. Let's use, you want to shoot the bolt a dart caster. at him? Yeah. We'll have to freeze him in place, Jinx. Oh, well, we blocked his way. I guess there's that. I'll smack him. Oh, this is, it like attaches to everything. Yeah, right. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> we're not dead. We're still, we're still kicking. We're just going to have to walk up and smack him. Yeah. There's no way around this. I guess we can slow motion this shit Let's so we can dodge. All right, awesome. Got him. They really don't like being smacked. Lovely. Yeah, they don't like it. They, they. Sky. Oh, Sky. Aww. No. Not Sky. And we got a new chipset. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this increases the range with the Typhoon can be scanned with the Psychoscope. All right. That's not that useful, you Sky. You just put her, your foot on her chest. Huh? You're like dancing on her. Oh, yeah. Apparently so I am. So fucking rude. Yeah. Well, you know what? Disrespectful. No, I really can't. I can't talk any shit about Sky. I was gonna say that she she deserved it, but I really can't say that. No. She didn't do anything to deserve She's that. Super sweet. She was. Yep. 
There's all kinds of shit all over the floor in here. Yeah, yeah, that's because our, our battle, our battle knocked things oh, all over the place. Uh, I guess we'll go and pick that up. Sure, why not? Uh, we need a recycler. Uh, the recyclers have been in real short supply, haven't they, in this area? Maybe we just don't know where they're at. Well, I'm sure they're here, but I'm just meaning that they're, they, before they were, you know, all oh, over the place. they're having a party. I'll drink that one. Just because, how are we going to, you know, go buy all these pop stars and not drink them? Any know, of them. right? You're going to drink the pop star? Yeah, look at all this stuff here. Can we pick the cigar up? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can break those down. Uh, and after the space race. Did you want to read this? Not really. Now that space travel was a reality, the new challenges become how to recoup beyond simple military and science gains, and two, fighting the argument that both groups were ill-equipped to do so. For corporations, the value of space travel was in the acquisition of real estate in what amounted to international waters, especially what laws governed such territorial claims. This allowed for an ethical loosening of constraints as well as added security in both uh, containing accidents and the messaging of accidents on space station laboratories. Basically allowed them to do whatever the fuck they want because it's it's like international waters. I mean, there's nobody has a, there's no laws. Nobody can tell you what you can and can't do. I really want to break that. No, nope, can't. All right. This allowed them to do, yeah, whatever they wanted, bad shit, and then this kind of crap happens. All right, let's grab that up. God, we need a recycler bad. Can't let scientists just do whatever Aw, Perry. I can't even pretend to be sad. <laughs> Fucking Perry. <laughs> uh, that dude was a dick. Seemed like an alcoholic. Huh? Yeah, that's why he was a dick. He drank so much. Um, he, he'd get, when he was nice, he was uh, when he was uh, sober, he was the nicest guy. Uh, but he was always drunk. A mean drunk. Yeah, I, I rarely ever saw him sober. I think it was once. Mean drunks are crazy, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Like they'll be like really nice, sweet people, and then they get some drink in them, and they go fucking nuts. Yep, that they do. Like I thought we were friends. Uh huh. Yeah, and then you think you're about to have a good time with the person because you know you're drinking together. You think it's gonna be a good start time, and then like they an asshole. Yeah, they start acting like a dick. And then you're like, are you really just a dick? And then the alcohol, you know, frees your inhibitions towards mm -hmm. that? Or are you a nice person who's being corrupted by the evils of alcohol? Because well, the idea is that when you're, when you're fucked up, you're doing, some people would argue that you're doing the things you actually want to do uh, and that you would have restrained yourself from doing. Uh, and that's, that's, that's the argument. And some people say, you know, they make you do things you wouldn't normally do. So which one you, you believe in? Uh, I don't know. I think it's a mix, personally. Uh, I think it's it does allow you to do things that you want to do that you wouldn't have done. Uh, but at the same time, you don't always think things through as thoroughly as you would have. Uh, but let's go and cut through this cutscene, guys, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, so one thing I did want to remind you guys while we're in here is about the vacation, that this will be the last video uh, until Tuesday. Uh, of prey, uh, since we'll be doing videos every other day during this vacation. Uh, so I want to make sure you guys are aware of that, uh, and also should be aware that I don't know where to go next. We're back in the arboretum. Have we? Do we have access to this? No, we don't. All right, Damn. so can't go in there. Um, I don't think we have access to that just yet. I could be wrong. Well, I know we needed to go to the crew quarters. Yeah, we do need to go to crew quarters. That's quite a distance away, though. Uh, I really want to get Ooh, up to the top I of that. Think you can climb that tree. I thought I could too, uh, but it just it doesn't want to let me. He doesn't use his arms. Nah, Morgan has no arms. We've determined that. No, that was Horizon Zero Dawn that we determined she had no yeah. arms. I well, guess Morgan, Morgan doesn't, doesn't have either. Any damn arms either. He's got one arm. Can we interact with this? No. All right, so I don't think we're gonna we'd have access to anything else in this area, right? No, it doesn't seem so. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to leave here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check check our objectives uh, over here and just see what all we have that we can do right now. Main story: we need to find the boy samples uh, in crew quarters. So yeah, we do have to go to crew quarters for the the main story. Um, a lot of other stuff that we can do as well here, though. Disgruntled employees, whole bunch of side fucking quest. Yeah, a lot of them. Golden Gun is uh, in the crew quarters as well. One hit, one kill? Hell yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be nice. We probably want to look for that in the crew quarters when we get there. Uh, just other places to go. The Guts, Life Support, Psychotronics. All kinds of missions here. All right, so uh, I suppose we'll make our way back. Although, you know, I think the best way to do this would be would be to use the... Uh, outside. Outside, exactly. 
I think that's the best way to do it. So oh, wait a minute. Space. No, no, no. There is a door that leads to um, the lobby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to find that lobby door. Where the fuck is that? Yeah, that would be the oh, best. It says crew quarters is that way. Um, This way? Yeah. Hmm. Do they have their own crew quarters? All right, well, here's storage room. No, we can't get in there. Okay, maybe it was down there. Yeah. Was that the crew quarters? Maybe that was this area here. You remember when we came down here and it was mm -hmm. a locked door and we couldn't get through it? Maybe this is the crew quarters. Do we have the code here? No. Crew quarters unlocked. Oh, okay, all right. So we can go to this place. Sure. Let's go here, guys. Uh, There's going to be another load in the screen, though, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we won't make you guys sit through it. Uh, we'll see you when it's done. All right, we are back, guys. We're going to be entering into crew quarters. So we're going to see how everybody lived. Oh, what was that? I thought God it was a damn flower. it. Fucking buttons. Uh, no, no, there was an enemy over here. Carlos oh, Popinga. mind controlled. Oh, I shit. See you. Uh, that's creepy as shit. Um, yeah, this is a problem. What we're gonna need to do, I think that this will not kill him. The stun gun. I believe we can use this to just knock him out. I don't like this shit. Uh, what's going on over here? Okay, this is some creepy ass shit, guys. Yeah, it is. Stupid <laughs> puppets. What? You too? All right, can we just pop out real quick? What the fuck is going on Who is this that? Here? So can we scan the these guys? Ah, God damn it. Come on, I'm just trying to scan you. We gotta investigate the cafeteria. All right, it's just too far away. So what are we gonna do about these guys? Sneak past them? Something on the counter. Yeah, well, we're gonna loot this first. I'm really hoping that we find a recycler over here, guys. We desperately need one. I think our inventory is getting pretty full. We only have a couple slots left. Uh, I think what we'll do is we're going to eat some food here. Okay. Um. Can you? No, I'm hmm. trying to get you. I'm trying to avoid you, asshole. Jinx is always talking to the characters and stuff. It's like they can hear her. They can. All right. Well, what we're going to do is just sneak past them for now. I think that would be the best uh, route. Golden gun. Golden gun? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that door is blocked, so we're not getting through there. Over this away. We need to find. Oh, oh, hello, ah. Regina. Regina! Don't do we it, don't Regina. Hurt you. We don't want to hurt you, but you're gonna make us. Okay, and we're going down that path. Ah. Oh, come Although on. Regina's pissed. Oh, come on, Regina. Don't do this. You don't want to do it. Don't kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, don't do it, dog. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to kill it before the fucking guys come. All right, did they hear me? I don't want to have to fight the humans. We're not going to pick all this up. Oh, we could pick it up. So we found the key card to se secured pharmaceuticals. Is there a recycler in here? Oh, excellent. This is great. We need this bad. Let's go ahead and place all this stuff in there. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and place our food in there as well. Uh, we have an we can... extra pistol and an extra bolt caster as well. All right, we'll just go through here and get rid of... Oop, I didn't want to go that far over. And get rid of anything that's that's extra. Uh, yeah, I see the extra pistol there. Get rid of that. All right, because I oh, also want to get... two extra pistols. Oh, yep. See, that's what's taking all of our fucking inventory up. Get rid of that, 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 and this. What is this? Okay, I thought it was pudding for a second. Um, get rid of the candy. Yeah, you were gonna get that. rid of the pudding on purpose, weren't you? No, I'm getting rid of all the food. Despite me. I'm getting rid of all the food, Jinx. Has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Jinx is over here and rip my fucking throat out and shit. She's taking this very personal. All right, I so. I just think it would be nice and warm. What ripping my? Oh, it would. That blood rushing out of my jugular into your mouth. Oh, it would be really warm. And then I'd need to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> she would. Yeah, she would be very tired. All right. Well, um, maybe we shouldn't have got rid of all our food. Yeah, Post-it note. Considering the fact that we're out of health. Post-it yeah, no, note. Supplies food. for Morgan. Mike, when you're heading up to the Executive Suites to fix the cooling system, uh, there can you bring Morgan these supplies. By the way, the code to the grav shaft has changed. It's zero eight three two. That's what we needed. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, I think that's what we needed. 
All right, awesome. Uh, so we'll uh, be able to go back there and make use of that code. And then we'll be able to deal with that. Oh, I wonder if, sorry about that guys, Jinx started coughing on us. Um, what I was trying to say is that I, I wonder if we will be able to, uh, if we take out that guy, if that'll free these ones too. Is he oh, like controlling yeah. all the ones in the area? Yeah, I think maybe if you take him out. It should, yeah, free hopefully all of them. Because we were supposed to kind of figure that out with the last guy, but we couldn't get in there. All right, well, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go back and take him out first so we don't have to worry about uh, these guys attacking us and us now having to fight back. Now we need a fabricator real bad. We do need a fabricator. There's a lot of stuff that I'd like so to be able to create. We need ammo. Let's we got get, nothing. Let's get the reload speed up. Reload our shotgun a little faster. Nothing to reload. Yeah, we don't have any bullets right now. All right, well, let's stay and sneak here. Uh, we'll we'll take anything that's up here, uh, but I think we're going to want to go fight that guy soon. Oh, wow. Holy oh, shit, Mike. Mike. He actually looks better than he looked <laughs> uh, before this happened to him. That's not nice. You didn't see Mike. <laughs> I don't know. It's a compliment to say you look better, isn't it? Uh, sure. Say, hey, you're looking really good. You're looking way better than you usually look. Uh, well, if they look like that, <laughs> that's, that's no kindness. Um, what was that? Oh, the theater? Nice. Of course, that probably wow. would be in the crew quarters. That would make sense. I didn't even know they had a theater. Okay, let's the just... The yellow tulip. All right, so this is their bar, and then it is dark up in here. Is something yes. fighting me? Oh, yeah, something is fighting me, of course. Ugh. And I'm like, There's I can't see shit. There's plenty of turrets all over the place. Yep, there is. We need to use those. Yeah, well, I'm worried. I'm worried they will, but they don't have... Are, do, are they considered to have the material in them, the alien material inside of them? I'm not sure, because it's just their brain that's fucked up, right? Yeah, you would think that that would be a no, that they would be safe. Yeah, I'd hate to, to turn the turrets on and then it kill all of our fucking it people, though. everybody down. Uh, well, they could also view the turret as an enemy, and they could attack the turret. True. So it might not even be about the turret attacking them. So that's something to consider as well. So yeah, maybe we don't want to fix oh, the turrets in this area. Oh, power back on. Yep, we're going to need some power in here. Maybe there's going to be a button or something. Or it's probably going to be on a... Oh, hmm. I don't remember how we turned the power on that one area again. A button. A key tar. Her daughter was talking to him today. She was like, are these things real? Because she saw a picture of one. I'm like, yeah, they, they're they real. <laughs> what, you talking about the key tar? Yeah. She's like, how come I don't ever see them? I'm like, because nobody plays the key tar anymore. No, yeah, nobody plays it. She's like, well, I want one. Oh, how did that happen? Where'd he go? Ugh, they're so nimbly bimbly. I know, right? It's not even fair. <sighs> Fuck you. Ugh. And Morgan's even, even like, ah. Yeah, both of us are like that. We're both Fucking exasperated mimics. now. Well, I just turned ass. around the corner. I didn't even have a chance to scan yet. Just fucked up. Oh, Kira. I didn't know Kira. Lovely lady. Was she? Very lovely. What made her lovely? She's just a classy gal. A classy how? Huh? I'm looking for details here. I want to know about Kira. I want to know about her. details. Oh, is this, this is a secret. Jinx had a special relationship with her. Yellow Tulip Supply Closet. Did you guys have like a night of drinking here at the Yellow Tulip? We did. Yeah? She was my first lady love. Oh, okay. This is getting juicy, guys. <laughs> details. Details. We must hear. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got both of them. Nice. I only got one. I don't kiss and tail. Oh, okay. I guess that's admirable as well, I suppose. Though I always want her to tell everybody about me. <laughs> Just tell them. Do you? Huh? Do you? Yeah, I always say, yeah, I tell For real? Huh? No, oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't talk about my family. I'm that weirdo <laughs> that people are like, you're married? You have kids? What the fuck? Yeah, Jinx is very, very personal. You know, I'm private. Private, like, yes, where I'm looking You know, in a personal setting. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guy Jameson. Oh. Yeah. Guy. That, he looks like he had some explosive diarrhea or some shit. Uh, well, he always had explosive diarrhea, so probably... <laughs> that old man who done shit himself. Yeah, he? he had some issues. I think it was his diet. He was always eating... You know, if you find, could think of a food that makes you shit yourself, he was always eating it. He really liked spicy foods as well. I kept telling him, you know, when you get a certain age, you've got to, like, change up your diet. Stop the eating certain kind of foods. Space. Yep, he didn't want to listen, though. 
And I know we said that we're leaving here. I wouldn't blame him, though. This is how we turn the power back on, Jinx. If anyone tried to tell me to fucking give up spicy foods, I'd say, fuck you, I'm shitting my pants. (laughs) (laughs) Shitting your pants is better than... You see, you don't really know, Jinx. You don't know. Until you experience it, uh, what it's like to, to where spicy foods just fucking murder you. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, I had a moment where flaming Hot Cheetos murdered me. Oh, I don't even have those. You remember that time that they murdered me when I, I was dead? Yeah, I do. That was, that was but bad. I came back. Can we freeze them I up? I didn't learn shit. I'm still eating them. But you know what? I'm fine now. <laughs> You've been eating them, yeah. Yeah, as I've gotten older, oh, I've, I have like more of a craving for spicy food. Uh, I'm gonna be like that old lady with a ba- <laughs> with a bottle of Tabasco. Oh come first. on, he's gonna get us, Jinx. We're gonna die. Uh, speaking of flaming hot Cheetos, though, uh, our, we've, we've been, our kids have been eating it. Our son loves flaming hot Cheetos. Every chance he can get, he wants flaming hot Cheetos. He loves them. Our daughter, on the other hand, yeah. She wants to like them, but yeah. Yeah, she has trouble with them. She's like, I can't. They're just, they're spicing me. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it's it's hilarious how much he loves those those Cheetos. He always he wants them. He not even, yeah, he, he just eats them. Uh-huh. So we've yeah, turned the computer back on. Uh, we can now do the session playback for Alex's Toast and Music Neuromod demonstration. Uh, also, there is Ooh, ambience. Oh, let's white noise. Why would we want white noise? Do you want the acoustic guitar or do you want electronic? The I ambient like electronic. the acoustic guitar. There we go. A little bit of music here for you, Jinx. It's about damn time. Nice. Oh, there's uh, yellow tubes. That would that would make sense. It's called the yellow tube. All these phantoms are gonna chill the fuck out now. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully, stop fucking fighting me and shit. Is I'm not looking for a fight, guys. I'm just trying to to save this space station and all of my friends. I guess we're gonna go ahead and listen to Alex's toast Welcome here. Welcome everyone. We've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 euro mod mark. 8,000 euro mods. Sharing skills, abilities, improving the quality of life, and you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear brother, Morgan, who has left for Earthside to assist in marketing efforts with the Transtar Board of Directors. So, let us toast to Transtar, to the Neuromart and the future. But what is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employees none of which had any musical talents until yesterday, except Chief Show, who I'm told has a lovely singing voice. Sky, Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. guys so we're trying to listen to some cool jams and uh we died uh we didn't have any health i know he just popped up in there oh i think that's the point you have to be in there that whole time uh and be able to listen to music without dying i think what we're gonna have to do is like turn into a cup or something okay (laughs) i think that's gonna be the only way that we're gonna be able to to do this this uh quest here they're trying to give you a soundtrack while you're fighting well because we don't have we don't have any uh no, like I said, I think we need it for the the audio. Remember, oh, we're trying to get you. a sample of her audio or whatever. Oh yeah. I think that's why. Um, so we're gonna have to to listen to this again, guys. Uh, and this time, we're gonna have to turn into a cup or something. Uh, right when it happens, maybe maybe something in here. That there's box, a cup perhaps. On that. There's a cup or headphones right there. Yeah, we can turn into headphones. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, headphones. Listen to music. That's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and try this again, guys. Uh, and let's hope we don't <laughs> die.
Alright guys, so we have finished the mission. However, the Phantom's not fucking leaving. Uh, and I realize that you guys... We left you guys to listen just to listen. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's <laughs> change into that again. Uh, so we left you guys to listen to that music the whole time, and we could have very easily have talked all the way through that. There I was, couldn't have. I was jamming. Yeah, Jinx was over here jamming, but like, yeah, like you guys had to hear that song. Like, uh, it was super good or whatever. It was. Or super important super to the good. story. Um, can we get out here? Okay, I think I think we're okay. Let's just. Uh, sure. We'll just shimmy. Shimmy our, our way, way over here. Yeah. Come on. Come on, this way. All right, is there a, whoop. Um. Hello. Um. <laughs> I'll just go through here. Escape. Don't mind me. Man, I wish I could escape like that. Situations that I don't want to be a part of. Just break the fucking oh, window and fuck. run away. Is all right. a mimic? Yeah, but he's gonna alert all his fucking friends. He'll scratch. just a little mimic. All right, we're gonna hide behind here, Jinx. Nobody will know that we're in here. It'll be fine. We'll, we'll use the recycler. That's the reason why I came in here. Uh, I want to place the wrench in there as well. Uh, and anything else? I think we'll put the uh, bourbon in there. And yeah, we have an extra disruptor. Gun. Yep. And anything else that you're saying, Jinx? Mm, Might be extra no. here. What is this? Oh, we have shotgun shells. I was not even aware of that. Let's bust this out. We might need this. Got three. Yep, not much. Do we have any bullets for Make our pistol? No, we don't. All right, let's go ahead and get those recycled. And hope that nobody sees me when I go to loot this. Come on. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta get it. Had to get my goodies, guys. I think we're gonna leave here. Should scan the area. I think we should just leave here, Jinx. All right, sounds good. And let's hope that, uh, oh, here, you, talk, you see him talking to me? Yeah. He said Morgan. All right, we're gonna go back here, uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to take out that that guy. Uh, what the are those nightmare? things called? No, not the nightmare. The, oh. uh, the, the one with the controlling, the one that controls people's minds. Oh, the psychonaut or something? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go up that, that elevator to him. All right, guys. We will cut through this uh, loading screen. All right, guys. Uh, so we are back in here. We are damn near about to die. Uh, no fucking health. Our no eyes food. Are throbbing. Yeah, we are not doing so well, guys. We're in a desperate situation here. We need to get ourselves to a uh, uh, what do you call it? Not recycler. A fabricator. A fabricator. Yeah. We need to get to one pretty bad. Uh, did we ever go this way? Oh, okay. That brings Who us to the lobby. Who was that? That was talking to us. What? Um, what droid? Yeah. A ro robot? I always call him droid. I watched too much Star Wars Whatever. as a kid. Um. With the hmm. medical guy? Yeah, I'm not seeing. No, we destroyed these ones. Mm. I don't think there's any over here, Jinx. No, I'm not seeing any. Who's talking to us? I don't know. Yeah, I heard it. I don't know where it is though. It's fine. Uh, wait, what's here. this lead to? Did we go up here yet? Oh, a little secret area where we can play chess. Oh, okay. And we find a Neuromod, too. So we're probably going to use somebody that to upgrade ourselves. Cheating. We got a weapon upgrade kit, too. Yeah, somebody's using a Neuromod to uh, you know, cheat in chess. That would, that would figure. And this one is William Yu. William Yu uh, made this one. That makes sense. That's, okay. I, I, our father was Go really into chess. Go smack the window. I need to know if this shit is real. <laughs> uh, we're already running this way, Jinx. So hopefully there's no more enemies. Um, this way, because I'm just, I'm just fucking running over here. Uh, and I believe we have the code for this now. Uh, no, this is Alex's grab shaft. Oh, he's got his own special grab shaft. That is not the one that we needed. Damn it. Oh, I got so excited. There's I thought this was gonna... There's another one in here, though, isn't it? That needs a code? That one? No, that's nope. deep storage. We've been there. There's another one. Hmm. I don't know what it is, then, Jinx. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is the bridge. We've been there. Damn All right. It. Well, um, let's just take a look. Signs. Let's take a look at our object objectives here. Uh, actually, directions. you know what, guys? It, it's about the end of the episode. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna upgrade ourselves, and we're gonna use this weapon upgrade kit. And I'm kind of tempted to use it for the pistol, uh, because I we haven't really done much with this, and we have we've been mm -hmm. having to use it a lot. So let's increase our firepower here. I think that'd probably be smart. We're gonna do a little bit more damage, uh, and then. We're going to uh, see what we can do with our Neuromods here. Uh, did you want to get another magic ability with these? Everybody is really wanting us to. I was thinking to. you need to lift more. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. Um, the leverage too? I, I mean, that does is beneficial. We'll be able to pick some stuff up. Uh, but it just seems like there's so many other things we could be getting. 
What kind uh, of right alien now. ability are, le- are you looking at getting? I don't know, but remember, this will make it so that the turrets will start just killing, shooting at us. Maybe we should wait until we get more health. We haven't even been using the turrets. We I know, but we, we set up all those down. turrets in this area. Remember, there's like three turrets set up over here, yeah. right in the direction that we need to go. That's true. We should probably knock those down first. Yeah, probably should. So this uh, will do 200% damage to enemies while they're unaware of you. So oh, that would be useful. Nice. Yeah, we'd do a lot more damage. Uh, in our sneak attacks, that's something we might want to get. Just We could just make fire harms do more damage, uh, period. Uh, leverage 2 is an option. Lab Tech 1 is an option. Uh, we're not going to get that other one. Uh, and Hacking 2. And I guess that's pretty much it. That, oh, this would be the Psychoscopes. Did you want to finally get this? Sure, why not? All right. Well, yeah, it's between that or doing more damage. We'll, we'll get this, guys. We have a lot of uh, a lot of things we'd like to put into our our uh, mask or whatever you want to call it. Our psychoscope. Our gaggles. Yeah, our gaggles. All right. This opens up two extra slots. So what two do we want to use? Uh, we got to decrease the amount of time needed to complete a scan. Increase in maximum Zy pool. Probably need that one. Uh, grants resistance to psychoshock. When the Zy meter is uh, empty. Oh, that just uses your health for that. We found this. Yeah. I think we found this one off camera actually. I'm not entirely sure, though. I don't remember. Uh, increase the range at which Typhon could be scanned with a psychoscope. I guess we'll do the speed one, right? Or yeah. Grant's resistant. Yeah, we'll do the speed one. And just so we can scan a little bit quicker. Mm-hmm. That'll probably help save our life uh, here and there. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. Hello. Consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and, yes, remember, no video on Tuesday on uh, Monday. Uh, next video will be... Tuesday guys from now here on out. It'll be every other day while we're on our vacation. All right guys. Thanks for watching